Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Fundamental Problem 413 and it's going to follow up to 414 right afterwards. Alright, so be sure to stick around for the next video. So now we're not just taking moments about a, a specified point. We're going to be taking, uh, we're going to be calculating the, how much of the moment is being translated along a specified axis. Okay. So for 413, they're asking for how much of the moment, uh, you know, being transferred to O is is being uh, allocated to the x-axis, pretty much. Okay. So we'll begin doing this by let's just so the notation for this, the new notation for it will be uh, so the moment about the x-axis is going to be okay. What's the unit vector of the x-axis? dotted with r cross f and I guess we'll call it uh, you know R O R O B that's where the force is acting okay so this will be the new notation for this part of the chapter for this part of the chapter okay so let's just compute this first or First, let's compute the unit vector of the i-axis, of the x-axis, sorry, just give away the answer. So the unit vector of the x-axis is just i. This will save you time, especially for these. Okay, so i dotted with, so which component of the moment are we going to need here to give us the result? I'll give you some time to answer. Okay, so hopefully you answered MX, so we need the, the X component of this one because that's the only one that um, you can dot with I, because I dot I gives you one, I dot J zero, I dot K zero, okay? So instead of doing the whole calculation, we're just gonna focus on the I component. Okay, so let's do um, I dot we're going to have to do it in determinant format, okay? I, J, K. Okay, what's the distance from O to B? Well, it's going to be 0.3i. So let's write that down, 0.3 in the I direction. 0.4J. And then minus 0.2k and forces well they give it to you right there so it's the force is 300i minus 200j and 150k okay so now like I said earlier we just need to compute the first part of this determinant, which is just going to be the i. So, pretend like we're just computing the determinant. So, i, okay, so that means we gotta, you know, we block out these rows and we're gonna do this uh, 0 0.4 times 1.5. 0 0.4. Times one point, I mean one hundred fifty, not one point five. Okay, minus minus this calculation. So minus, and it's minus minus. So so it'll be end up being negative. So zero point two times two hundred. Okay. Right, and then now we just need to compute that. All right, so it's going to be 0.4 times 150 minus 0.2 times 200. So that is I dotted with. Uh, let me erase this real quick. So all this gives me 20. So. 20i, okay, and then i dot i gives me 20. 
to remember the dot product will yield the scalar. So 20. So that's how much torque is shooting through the x-axis. Okay. And notice how I, I didn't compute the J component and the K component because you know once you have those, you know let's say you had uh, I dot 20 and then you had I don't know like 150 J and minus 150k or something like that okay you'll just be wasting your time here because i dot j is zero and i dot k is zero okay so you don't need these all right you just want to stick with the clean nice clean concise solution like this okay on a test you want to be efficient okay so you don't want to compute those extra terms all right guys and this uh this wraps up question 413 for fundamental problems uh, so be sure to check out the next one which is now a little more complicated since we'll be translating it uh, or uh, yeah uh, we'll be doing the dot product with axis OA okay see you next time